So welcome back. This is a little update on the Harbor Freight uh, dollies for this car. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but I put new wheels on it. Got them off Amazon. Um, they got brakes. They got ball bearings on the axles, and they got ball bearings on the swivel. Um, they're rated about, I want to say 300 pounds a wheel. So I don't know if they total them all up, so about 1,200 pounds for all four on the corner. I'm not sure how they do that, but uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, it rolls fairly easy. A lot easier than those plastic axle, metal axle, plastic wheels that were on there from Harbor Freight. But um, anyways, you'll see them in, in my uh, installation video here coming up shortly. So stay tuned, coming up, and let's get to this video. Um, you know how engineers go through all their spiel and manufacturing and do this, change that. Well, I think I'm smarter than the engineers on these. So I'm going to be upgrading my wheels because those, I mean, they're plastic. Uh, there's no bearings in them. And I bought a set of these. And I just got these in the mail yesterday. I think I think these are going to be much better. They got actual bearings in there. And it's a hard uh, polyurethane, I believe. I'm not sure. I didn't have to check that wheel, but they're they're uh, but they're a little bit bigger. And I'm hoping these bearings up in the swivel actually hold up. But I know the wheel itself will. It'll roll much easier because it's got bearings in there instead of just a plastic shaft on a metal pin. So let's get to changing them. <clears throat> so this is what you get with the kit. Um, four nuts, four washers, four wheels, and two wrenches. They're actually thin enough where they're going to go in and hold this nut from spinning, hopefully. So I've already run into my first engineering issue and the, the brake part, the, the arm coming out here actually hits the bar. I don't really need the bar. If the bar is all the way up, it won't hit. But um, I don't need the bar on there. So I'm going to probably cut that off instead of modifying the wheels. But it would be just as easy to modify the wheels anyway because I don't need the brakes either. So, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so I got two of them done. They do, they do roll much easier than those Harbor Freight wheeled ones. But I had to, I elected to cut the handles off. Um, I may put something in there like a string or something, but I'm not sure yet. Doesn't really need anything, really. So I'll try this without the handle first and see how it goes. But they do roll a lot easier now. Well, I got them all on. Car definitely sits higher, which is probably not a bad thing, but I gotta get my bigger jack out to get it high enough to put these underneath it. But uh, let's uh, give it a shot and see how easy it is to push around, I guess. Shall we? So let's see how easy it is to push on this thing. Much easier, much easier. All right. Much easier, I like it. So far I'm liking it a lot. Much better. Much better. And my engineering feet actually worked out this time, huh? Just 
think we're good to go. Now we'll see if it stays up on the wheels for a while. Like I said, I don't know how long those, the, the wheels are rated for uh, 300 pounds each, I think, something like that. So about 1,200 pounds for all four, if that's the way they figure it. But the uh, the ball bearings in the wheels and the axles, I think is gonna play a big part in the ease of the doing this. So there you have it. It's up on wheel dollies. I think it's gonna work out good. My uh, my thought process on improving this, I think is gonna work, but time will tell. So thanks for uh, watching and uh, hope this works out. I really do. Um, on to the next project now. Drive door opener. I gotta get that done before it gets cold. Later, stay grape.